related to the Java, and I can't even. Wow, this it. thing is beautiful. Yeah, it's related to the Java, and I forgot the name. It's is it like the a one that has jaw or something like that? Or and it's a tip. Is it? Does it's it sharp on the ends? Very sh sharp, but they're not like razor sharp. But they're they're they got they got spines. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Does but this? this thing puts out hundreds of these blueberry fruits, and it has not fruited yet. And I read that it needs to get cold. Is this the one that um Mike has that had? No. No, it's different. Nope. This is different. And I have two of them, so they cross pollinate. But um, I'm not no luck yet. Me. They haven't grown since I put them in the ground. They've been in the ground for about three months and they have not grown at all. They're probably, they take oh, the time. Uh, no, not really. Not You'll yet. see these pink flower, pink um, leaves come out. That's it. When you know it. And That's when it's going to flower. Um, it's not going to flower. It just pushes out. Ahead. Here's some. Here's some new leaves that are about to push out. Yeah, here's some right here too. You're right, right there. Yep. So maybe it is coming. I just have to keep putting nitrogen on it. I think it'll be okay. So this has been in the ground only For a few months. Three months. Yeah, three months. it hasn't grown at all. So how big were the pots? About. Uh, they were. They were like this. Uh, like that oh, that's a, that's that. probably like 15 yeah, or so. 15, 20. Kind of like that know. size. That size right there. Nice. That's what they were in. Yep. Other than that, dude, it looks pretty healthy. They the bark's are. peeling. As long as I keep flying, whatever. I'm I getting... think right now it's focusing on growing its roots. Yep. Until its roots get long enough and established, it's going to start growing at the top. I bet you in about a year or so, this, you're going to be covered in fruits, dude. This got two of them here. They don't like sun. Oh, they're making flowers too. Yeah, they do not like the sun. This guy was in the sun and he lost a lot of its leaves, and this one's obviously healthier. You can see where it got burnt back. Yeah, so they'll come back. Like this guy right here, he literally decided to fry i've and never heard of this what do you call this one again Potomba. 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 it tastes like an apricot really yeah and he, he, he's these are these are tasty if you ask Mike, looking here's some more little flowers this will be covered in them this will have probably like i gotta film i gotta film what the fruit looked like yeah yeah i'll have you over when they fruit dude i tried the lemon drop mango scene it was Those so are good, good. Those are really you have that one growing, don't you? I do. It's right here. Too. Nice. Yeah. I really love this tree. Yeah. Yeah, I kept a there. seed from it. Someone grow one out in the greenhouse. I really want to yeah, they're, grab they're this tasty. tree. They're easy Very to grow. delicious. They don't, they don't die either. They just grow. Pretty cold hardy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yep. How, have, um, what's the coldest does it, does it get here? Oh, God. It's not freezing here. So it got down last year. You said about... It's got into the upper 20s, so it was below freezing, and because wow. all the trees were covered in ice. Right. Like That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Was it just for a few hours? Uh, yep, just for a few hours. Thank, and I thank you. I'm glad it wasn't. My trees. Yeah, if it's it was longer of, than that, it would have been pretty damaging. Like that thing is exploding with flowers. It's called a Katanga tuba. It's oh, I've heard of this one. Wow. Yeah. So I've heard this of this. is Go ahead. not fruited. Not at all. And it flowers like crazy, and it has not fruited. Looks like it's trying so, to take right there. Yeah, so maybe do the the, maybe the, the ash the, mix. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, do? I'm not throwing it out. I have a bunch of them that I'm trying to get the fruit and grow. This was my biggest one. So we'll see what happens. But That's impressive. I'm not gonna do anything with it because he keeps flowering. So I'm gonna wait. And hopefully, one of those flowers. Do you know if there um, is there a flower that's open right now? Mm -hmm. I was gonna try to check to see if it's bisexual. Can you tell? Yeah, you can see the female part in the middle. Oh, but these man. are not open up. They're not open yet. No, they're not. Yeah, you know, some of these need cross pollination. Yeah, but I think I, I don't do think that. this one. I think it's self. Maybe, self yeah, I think it's self. Self fertile. Self pollinates. Okay. That's my favorite plant. It's yeah. Easy to work with. Yeah, what what you got here? That's a star apple, in a pot behind it. I'm gonna stick that in the ground someday. You ever heard of a star apple? Yeah, but this one. Ultra. This one looks a little different. It this, is. Is this, a, is this is this the green one? That's the green one. Nice. Yeah. yeah, the purple one has yep. sharp purplish. Yeah, I got the purple too. I cut it back and it's going long. Oh, these are blue vexatories. These are all my blue vexatories. That's the one I was talking about. It has like a big blue fruit yeah. on it. Yeah, hundreds of fruit. Delicious, dude. I lost my tree. I went to what? Hawaii and uh, we went on vacation, came back, and it was in a pot, and, I, and the sprinkler died. It and it peaked, dried out. And it dried out and died. So before I lost that tree, I planted 50 seedlings from it. I just harvested the fruit, and these are the babies. Whew. And I only have three of them. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's always but these guys are gonna fruit by the next few years. I mean, they're getting big now. Dang, Dang. this guy. Looks like you got cacao growing here. Yeah, it's a cacao. No way. That frost that I was telling you about. It knocked it back. It killed it. Took out the top of it. I had to top it. It died. Yeah, but look at it. It's just growing it's right. Good, look right? at the trunk of that, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised it hasn't made flowers off this trunk. Look at this trunk, though. 
I mean, wow. It, it made it makes flowers all the time. But so so what's the story of this one? You, did so you grow it from seed or? I grew it from seed. Yeah. What is the trick of growing them from seed? So you they don't like the sun. Okay. They don't like cold. They like really organic, good, well-draining soil. It's okay. Be fluffy. So it needs it's like to a peat moss type mo like soil. So it and needs to be soil that's well drained. Well drained, but stays moist and doesn't okay. dry out. If it dries out, then they'll be start losing the leaves like crazy. And they You cannot put it in the sun. Okay, it has it to be has in the shade. It's an understory tree. Yep, like a garcinia. For okay, because I got like yeah. I got a lot of the seeds you saw. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm gonna try to grow them again. Those for sure, man. I haven't had any luck. Well, I think my I have a fungus to... issues. Fungus? Yeah, fungus kills the plants before they even get big enough. These are Mexican garcinias, or all Mexican. Yeah, this these is the like one that he big. was. No, no, like that big. No, like that big. So these are my small ones. My big ones are down here. Has so, your big one ever fruited? Not yet. Not I'll yet. show you the big one. But this is another in the media. So where do you so get they, the seeds of these? I got from? these from Luke down in Mexico. He sent them. To nice. Me. Yep. I bought twenty of them. And I nice. Sold, I think I sold a bunch. This is Acha Acha. Acha Acha. These are all Acha Achas behind it here. All over Dude, I, I have one of these in the greenhouse. Yep. This one got fried, so he went out in the sun, and he they got don't fried. Seem to, they don't seem to like full sun, do they? No. Not until they're older. Mm -hmm. There's actually one in the ground over there that's about six, For, seven foot tall that we went by and I didn't even show it to you. But he's not what doing a tease. Well. Hmm? So what a tease. Yeah. <laughs> this is the purple. I sent him back because he looked terrible, and now he's starting to come back. He's pushing right out. I'm so, trying to make it like a, like a tree. These things like the like they like they to like grow to like this. Out, yeah. It looks terrible. That's their habit. But it looks like you're, you're training it well. So the the yeah. Luke's Mexican Garcinia. That's a kombucha. That's similar to a Jabo. That's a rare one, isn't it? Very rare. Wow. So this uh this Luke's Mexican Garcinia. Yeah. So how many are here? Is this about four or five? Um, I think there might be six there. I think I got rid of like four of them. I Dude, down the road, I'll buy one from you. Okay. Yeah. Because I wanted to plant one in the greenhouse. We'll just, we'll just you know, we'll just use the. Oh, what is that? You got a flower? Is that a flower? What is that? I see no, a leaf. Oh, it's a leaf. Dang, this one's big. This is the seashore. <gasps> dude, you have the dude. It's so yeah, it's big. Seashore. Yeah, it's this seashore. This is seashore. No wait, no, that's Mexican. This is a Mexican. Dude, this is my Mexican. This is the. What is this? I like how you love Garcinias, dude. Yeah, but they yeah, how, how could shade. they do? They they really yeah, do not the like the full sun. This guy went in the sun a little bit, and he already fried a little. Look at that. That is crazy. This they is a must... Mexican right here. That's an MB. These I wouldn't recommend these because they're all male, most of them. Don't grow the MB. So it's kind of hard to get the female. Yeah, male. Mike's got them over there, and he has not had any fruit. This is such a cool tree. Wow, dude. dude. Like leathery. Wow, so that's, that's wicked. That's the Me Mexican. And here's the. Dude, I fell in love with the Mexican here's one. The gombage. This is gombage. Oh my god. The yellow gosh, mangosteen. Dude. Yeah, it's just Whoa, different. look These how, are all gombage. Look how beautiful the foliage is. Yeah. These are all gombage. Dude, when I saw Mike's Mexican yeah, looks, I, I yeah. fell in love with it, dude. I've never saw one in person. Well, the Garcinia. I'll end up getting some of these when we're done. So <laughs> We'll figure out some trade, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll do all have, the grafting for I you have, and teach I've you. Been, I've been growing these like crazy for a long time. These are old. These are like five years old. I believe it. So these They are, take a long time to grow. There's a big one down there. I have a Cuminata down there. This is no a way. This is the one that's really sweet. This you is a perfect. Like sun either, but look at this how different this one looks. Yeah, it's got bigger leaves and yeah, it's longer. Yeah, and I prop them up against the fence so they grow straight. Wow, that's, that's, another, that another is awesome. Cha -cha. I love a cha-cha fruit. Yeah. And this breaks a great shade. Yeah, this thing is tight. So this is called bamboo. Buddha's Belly Bamboo, right? This is all bamboo, the blue belly. Yeah, these are beautiful. Yeah. And then uh, this guy wants to lean again, so I'm going to have to fix that. It's amazing how their, their habits, what they want to do. Yep. You got it. I'm gonna you keep at it. You're, you've got it. What is this one? Mex Another Mexican? Ma Madrona. This Madrona. Is Madrona. This is Macrophilia. This one. That one's different. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, this has got I really got, long leaves. I got like tw probably 12 different varieties of this one. Here. That's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> more the better, man. Yeah. And then I got more to show you on the other side. This is me. I, you all right? Yeah, I hit the concrete. Dang, dude. Have you ever tried growing a sour stop here? Yeah, I got one in the corner. They don't like it here because of the soil for some reason. Same thing as the, as the uh, it's in the Anona. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't like my soil. This is a Spanish one. Oh, man. Yeah. You're just 
yours is huge, dude. Yeah. I've got one half the size of the greenhouse. Nails, That's the problem. Has this one flowered yet? Nope. Nope. I'm trying to see what mine you can, is. You could probably take that when you want. I don't want it. I'd like to see if it makes a male or a female because yeah. I'd like to try to graft. You know what? We, when we hold on to it, we can yeah, try to find can, a male and female. Can we can graft whatever, onto it, dude. If, if you want, if, you can do whatever you want with that one. I, if, I if, you, if we can get a male and female, would you plant it? Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm going to look around because I saw some in the Keys, if find dude. If it's hermaphrodite and we, and we get it, then I would definitely grow Because there's this place in the Keys where they're treat, there's a few of them. Okay. And they're covered in fruits. So there has to be a male nearby. Yeah. And some of them are really good. Dude, they taste they're amazing. They're small ones, though, and some of them are bigger. I like the bigger ones. Yeah, I like the one with the more pulp in yeah. it. Yeah. So we, the first time I tried it was in the... All right, I'll keep it Carib alive. Uh, in the, yeah. He was on the ground. You hear that? You better be a, a female so I can find a male. Yeah, exactly. Or vice versa. The one that's got both on it. That'd be great. So, this is the this is the one that Mike did with me. So as you can see it. Oh yeah, you're. So here's your graphs, and then obviously they they grew. They he took, actually did pretty good on it. He did, and then this one here looks like it came from this piece, not the main branch. And this is a good little microclimate. It really. It is. stays warmer. So you got to see this. Oh. There's a little more here. This is called a um, finger sop. Dude, no way. Yeah. I've been trying to grow it from seed. Really? That's a finger sap. Look at you, dude. Has I it made it fruits yet? And it hated me, and so obviously it's trying to trying to grow in here. Trying to grow in here, but uh, you got a no, few of them or just one? It hasn't had any fruit on it yet. This is the only one I have. So yeah, keep growing it, sap. dude. You're gonna get some fruit on it. Yeah, it tastes, is it good, dude. It tastes tastes just like sweet potato and something else. Oh, okay. Like sweet, like very sweet well, texture. What, we get all this done, you can have it because I don't want it. You don't want it? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll grow it in my I'll greenhouse. Water. Yeah, I'll water it and, and keep it alive, and then when we're all set, I'll you'll grow get, it in my greenhouse, get, dude. We'll do the tree over there and this one, and I'll give you some plants. We'll, okay. fi we'll figure it out, man. And I'll bring you some plants and hook you up. This is um, more blue vexators. These are the, from that tree that died. Wow. So I could give you some of those. I'm glad you kept seeds from it. Yeah, and then this is Grumachama. So my Grumachama trees that I grew from. I love I love Grumachamas. They're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then uh, MB over here again. And then I got a bucket full of MB. Dang, dude. Threw them all from seeds. Look at you. I got just you got a green everything. thumb on you, man. Oh, that's uh, ice cream bean. Wouldn't recommend it. I don't really like the fruit. It's that really one, a waste of time. Does that one not taste goes. good? It does. It tastes good. Good, but it doesn't give me anything. It's like That's weird. I, w I wonder what kind this is because I, I tried one in Nicaragua and it has it has skinny leaves. Okay. And the pie was full of fruit on it. It's like cotton on it. Yeah. It's like a cottony, but it's it like sweet. melts in your mouth. Yep. Sweet. So it is okay. But I have heard there's so many different varieties. I was talking with Mike. He said it's there's just hundreds for, uh, of types. It's good to, to chop and drop. And, and nitrogen building. Crazy. So, I would I would still grow this out and just I chop will. it back. I'm probably gonna just put it in the ground and just keep cutting it because it, once it establishes, it just keeps growing. Yeah, I'd, I'd go for it. You, I was you might chainsawing can... it. Every no way. Two months at my other house. So this is one from it. Grow. That's one from it. Yeah. Wow. Because I saw I saw his and his Mike's was humongous. Mm -hmm. That's growing. I've eaten fruit off of his. What do you think of his? It's okay. It's 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 not something I would I would grow to eat the fruit. I would just grow it to. It's more like ornamental. And it's also for a chop and drop. I wonder so. I, if I brought, would you want a different top? I could bring one of mine. Uh, I'm probably it, just going to stick that in the ground. Okay. Grow it, and then once. Because I was going to try to figure out, what, I might just plant mine in the big greenhouse and grow it out. If it makes pies, I'll bring them to you. Because mine has glossy leaves that are small and skinny. Skinny. Gotcha. It's the weirdest thing. I've never seen one like that, but it made pods Interesting. about this long. I think that's the same one Mike has, actually. Now that it kind of looks like it. Yeah, I think it, is. I think it is. I think you got a good plan for it, man. So this whole row right here is going to be mulch. Oh, that's going to gonna look, that's gonna look All beautiful. All the bricks are coming out. So this is going to be mulch. Bricks will come away, and this will be a mulch built up. Mm -hmm. And then this will be all grass, and be all the mold the food. Oh, that's a good idea. That way you don't. Apples. That way you don't have to. Kind of like what I'm doing here. I love it. All that, mulch, that, all mulch. Pineapples stay mulch around the pineapples. That way you don't have to mulch. keep driving through here, you know, and exactly. take advantage of so the just, space. I'll just put them that way, and then hopefully the lychee mite doesn't take over my lychees, and we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> all we can do is pray. Uh, these are Rolinia. No, that's yeah. that's nice, man. Yeah. You tried the fruit of it? Yeah, I grew one in Hope Sound and they're phenomenal. 
How big did your, your tree get? It like that. And the tree got to be 10 foot tall. That's a nice size. And I have one right there on the corner. The oh, cool. Let's go check it out. And then there's two of them over there along the track. I've got one that's about as tall as me mm -hmm. in the greenhouse, but I keep pulling it down. They get a lot of bugs. Like, like this scales. White, this white bug here. And it takes over. It. It's sulfur and it's a little bit of the soap. It will take care we'll of that? We'll kill it. No way. Yeah, if, gross. I'm gonna take a picture of the organic soap I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, do that. Then I'll know. And what it is. a little bit of sulfur, and that soap also helps the sulfur stay on it better. Gotcha. And then the little bit of soap dries out, and, and, and like, like we were saying, late afternoon is good to spray. Quimuck. I got never heard of that. Those. It's similar to the jackfruit. It's delicious. Wow. That's a quimuck. This is a quimuck. So this is one you got from a fruit you bought. Mm, I bought the seeds online from Hawaii. Nice. Yep, I bought a guy from the Gulf. I've got to go to Hawaii one day. Oscar Jate. Nice. Sent it to me from fruitlovers.com. I've heard of that website. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of fruit from. Got These you a longin. Hmm? Got you a longin. Yeah, longin. I'm going to stick him in the ground at some point. I got that from Mike, actually. Nice. I love longin. Um, and then the honey kiss mango, nam duck mai, obviously they're really small. Oh, this one, underrated. This is called the uh, Maha Chinook. That's a very good mango. I think I, I actually just bought one from Mike. That's I left it at a, a customer's house. It's underrated. People don't really know about that one until they grow it. it. That one has a longer fruit on it. It's right? long. It's like a... Um, Real sweet. Looks like the Nandak. I yeah. love... That's one of my favorite mangoes. But now, but now I'm going to probably try other ones that this I'm This one's one of your favorites? Nandak? Right now. Yeah. It's sweet. I right? feel like I'm going to try another one. It's really sweet. I yep. love the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. That's but, a dwarf lychee. That's a apricot. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Actually, if you brought that up north, you might probably would grow good. It's small. Yeah, I grew that from seed. Okay, I mean, yeah. if you if you don't want to try to grow it here, we could try it. Try it. Yeah, you could probably bring that with you. One trick about these temperate climate plants, to make it think it went through a cold winter, you I just see. strip the leaves. Oh. Okay. As soon as you strip the leaves, it thinks yep, it went it through a winter. It's, it's ready to fruit. Yep. Gotcha. You could still try to grow it here. I, could, I think I could. you could. And you got a peach. I got a peach. That you could I grow could here. <laughs> that is a maycock. It's covered in flowers. Sure is. That'll have fruit all over it because it's a dwarf. I love the dwarfs. So this guy is actually it's not supposed to be flowering not until he gets bigger, but he already is. And this is the call and he's got a flower bud coming out already. Yeah, these are the ones I saw in the Instagram pitch, pictures. Yep. Man, look at you. You got some passion vines growing. Yeah, that thing I had to rip out because it wasn't growing in the pot very well, so I stuck it, just stuck it in the ground. Uh, these from seed? That's from seed. Cool. Yep, those are all from seed. I grow a lot of everything. This is <laughs> this is my job at a cava tree. Impressive. And this thing I stuck in the ground and covered it with manure around the base. Dang. This thing puts out... I Close saw that picture, man. A couple thousand of fruit a year. Wow! Look at that. A couple thousand at least. Do you know what what variety this one is? That's a uh, Sabara. I love Sabara. Mm -hmm. I actually have one of these growing. Oh, wow! He's really pushing out new growth. Come check out this. Wow! Look I was looking this. for some more flowers, but it looks like they've already. Look at the growth on this side of the tree. Dang! I didn't even realize it until I came over here. But look at this. Oh yeah! Look at that. That's a healthy sign. That is a healthy tree. Yep. This, is this thing is just pushing out. Eight years old. That is impressive. Look, you yeah. got another. You got a flower forming. Oh no way! Oh, that's a fruit already yeah, making. Yeah, that's coming. There's another. Dang, got another dude. one coming. Then it might even be. This thing fruits four times a year. Insane. That's impressive. Yep. And this one's grown from seed, or that was from seed. And when, when did it start fruiting for uh, you? About three years, four years old. That is not bad. This is the red. This Look, is there's about even reds your, on it, dude. Yeah, this is a red. Is there a red on there? Oh, yeah. They're, they're covered in it. Yeah, dude. so the flowers are coming out now. This is about seven, eight years old. I grew that about the, around the same time that wow. one. And then all the seedlings I'm growing, I'm growing in the pot. So Try one on camera for us. Let's see if I can find one. There's a few of them growing. Well, there's a one big one right there. Really? Where? Right there. Oh, that's actually small. You should see how big they get. Oh, dude, they get purple. They they get they look, get this look how big. purple these they get no way yeah. so, so these are still growing yeah oh yeah there's a long ways to go oh so yeah, here's a green one this is actually not even fruiting heavily this is just, so this thing fruits almost year round so you would wait till this fruit got huge huge this one under here is like but it's actually gone through a dormant stage so that one really not go for it you can have it fell off look like something pecked at it there's another star it's hard to try it go for, yeah, you might not like it you might it might not be that's just so sweet. Wow. Really? Okay. You want the seed? I'd spit the seed out. Yeah. 
You want to have the scene? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of them. Wow. Mm hmm. It's just kind of like a, oh, a mustard down grape and something else. Yeah, so you got to come over when they're really. really wow, this is actually. Mm. Yep. Pretty good, right? Dude, I could take. I could have. You can make some wine out of I this. I make grape juice. I get so many. I make a gallon of grape juice. Oh, a gallon. Wow. Yeah. That, that that blows my mind. Yeah. Dude, this, look how it's covered in the flowers and the fruits. This is probably the most underrated. You can eat that one. Oh, here's a good one right here. That one's good. I ain't here. Might be good. past its prime. That one's. It's okay. It's gonna be a little. So, they you ever eat the? You ever um? Make wine? No. Yeah. You should, dude. <laughs> I you can't beat the juice so mm. cream right here. Let's go for mm. the cream. He's got some flowers down here. Here it is. This is a star apple that's a grafted, so I'm gonna hope for better luck with this one. Yeah, I've got a purple grafted one. Okay. This is so the green one, right? Grafted than a seedling because I had a flowering one on my other house that was mm -hmm. twenty five feet tall. It flowered for four years in a row, it just kept doing it and never fruited. Really? Somebody told me to to like tap a nail in it. The Jamaicans were telling me to had a hammer and oh, yeah. punish it, and I'm like, ah. Or whack it with your sandal, yeah, like something, Latin. you know, something like that. And these are Grimaldi. These are the Grimaldi. These are the golf balls, so they're like, they're like this big. Wow, food. dude. I got this from Adam Shafron at Flying Fox. Nice. His seeds, he sent me them. I'll have, have to bring here. you a, uh, a giant Mokti. You remember them? You have one of those? I've got two of them growing. You want one? No way. I'll they're bring like you one. They're that long and they're yellow. Yeah, I've got I got a small one growing. Do they grow? Um, I'm learning about them, but they they seem to be doing How long good. How do they take the fruit? It could take about 10 years or more <laughs> or 15. <laughs> I'm willing to wait. If you yeah. have that much time, I'll bring yeah, you one. Bring me one. I, I was gonna. Yeah, man, I was gonna grow one in the greenhouse, and then I also have a. Avocado ring. Cool. I also have a dwarf multi. Okay. But they're not related, I don't think. But it. Dude, the last few months, it's literally staying a little sprout. It grows so slow. The dwarf one, I could bring I like you one the of them. One. The regular one sounds better because it sounds like it pushes more it, growth. It grows quicker. quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the achacha that I was telling you about that is not growing much. It pushes out probably one flush a year. I don't think it likes my soil here, so I just keep composting and hoping Yeah, and you rest. just put the compost a few months ago, so it's... Mm -hmm. yep. And like you said, you're going to put... Wood chips all through here. You're gonna see a oh, difference. So You're gonna you think see it'll a, help even around it, because the roots will spread out that way. Oh yeah, yeah. So then it'll okay. If you get rid of these Probably and just be, mulch it real heavily through here, yep, it'll be thicker beneficial. the better. Okay. And then when you get near here, kind of keep it away from the, the base trunk. of the trunk. Yeah, gotcha. This and is every a, year, more and more. This is called a. That's cool. I was doing. Do you know what this is? Because I'm gonna probably get rid of this. This is a this. The sea sh oh, no, this is something else. Nope, it's 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 called a. Um, I'm trying to figure out why it's, it's doing. It's an apple, but it's a um, called a mammy apple. 